Howdy, folks. Kiesel guitar artist Johnny Hyland here. And sometimes in life, folks, you get a pedal sent to you that absolutely blows your mind so much that you actually have to make a video on it. And that happened to me today, folks. It is actually a pedal that was sent to me by the great folks at Source Audio, and it is called the True Spring. It is appropriately named, I must say, because the True Spring is actually a spring reverb pedal and a tremolo all in one. And folks, they have authentically recaptured all of our favorite spring reverb sounds in all of our old favorite amps. Now, I'm a diehard chicken picker, but I love to play blues and rock and other things, but all the amps I've played through the years all have had a great, great reverb in them, from Fender Twins to brown faces to even old 70s music mans that had a great reverb in them as well but folks this little pedal right here is bad to the bone diggity and i can't wait to jump into it and show you what it's all about but first what i have to tell you is right out of the box this pedal sounds amazing it really does but source audio actually offers an app that you can go into it's called the neuro app and I grew to find that being legally blind, it was a little hard for me to see. But I'm very fussy when it comes to my reverb sound. So what I did is I found that the pedal came with this little cable right here. And on one end, it actually has a quarter inch jack that you hook into the bottom uh, of the right side. So basically the stereo in on the right side of the pedal just underneath your mono input. You plug it in there, and then this end, you put a little Apple dongle on it, because it's a 3.5 millimeter, and all of a sudden, boom, you're into the Neuro app. And I didn't really think, folks, that I would be able to actually use it properly, but I was. My wife actually just got me the new iPhone 14, which I love, and it's the plus size one. So I took a chance, got in here, and you know, folks, you pull it up on your phone, and there it is in the Neuro app, the True Spring. You literally tap on the picture, and when you get inside it, it has all kinds of parameters that you can change. So I went into this Neuro app and revamped this pedal, and I can't really say revamped. I'll just say this. I personalized it more to my liking. How's that? That just sounds better. And it's really the truth. This pedal does sound great right out of the box, but... I had to Johnnyfy it just a little bit. So before I say another word, I'm going to load this puppy up on a stand so we can take a closer look at it, and we'll dive into some tone samples, and, uh, and I'll show you exactly what I did in here. But this pedal is phenomenal, folks. Let's do it. What do you say? All right, folks, now we're looking at this little bad boy, and you can see this pedal offers four knobs, a little switch in the middle, and then, of course, your on and off switch down at the bottom. The first thing I will tell you is that in the Neuro app, you can actually uh, set the, the bottom switch here to actually be true bypass or buffered bypass if you'd like. Pretty cool. The four knobs from the top right uh, would be level, mix, and then on the bottom left you have dwell, bottom right you have tone. But then there's a little switch in the middle, and that is actually a three position switch. You have short reverb, you have long reverb and then you have a tank reverb and so right now let me see where i'm at i think yes i'm actually over on the tank verb right now and that's where i played it or used it in the song and so let me just kind of show you what that sounds like on the bridge pickup of my johnny highland jh6 kiesel <laughs> Now, that is a good springy reverb right there. And I might as well go ahead and start with this tank verb anyway and just kind of describe to you how these knobs actually work. So up here, your level knob essentially just allows you to set the pedal at unity gain that matches your initial amp tone. But the level knob is actually really, it's really cool that they added this knob because most pedals really don't have that when it comes to a reverb. You just set it and forget it. But this one, it doesn't matter what kind of rig you're using, you can actually set that level knob to unity gain and go for it. You're all set. 
Now, the mix knob over here actually sets how much of the reverb is coming into your signal. So I'm just going to turn it all the way off. And right now, folks, I'm just using a bare, raw, slightly compressed tone with nothing else on it at all. So we'll just turn the mix knob off and bring it up and show you how it sounds as we roll it in. That's so fun. But yeah, so I mean, you can see you with it all the way up, I've got it set to where you can just totally like dime it out if you want to. But somewhere right around here, that's about where I like it live. It might be a little bit wet for me, but we can adjust that over time. The tone knob on the bottom right, actually, what it does is it kind of, you know, adds in highs. So let's just roll the tone knob and see how what it does for you. Now, on this tank setting, you could see I pretty much had it dimed out anyway. And then the dwell knob is actually very interesting as well, because it does change the characteristics of how the reverb sounds and how long it actually lasts. So and now I'm going to turn the, uh, the dwell knob and let you hear what that does. It's got a little bit of a drip to it there, so that's pretty cool. And what I do, though, is normally set the drip somewhere just under halfway, maybe a little bit lower depending on what setting I'm on. So you can tell I actually used the drip machine inside the Neuro app to set this tank verb. And yes, folks, the Neuro app does offer other sounds other than just what's offered in the pedal by itself. Pretty incredible. So now what I'd like to do is instead of going to the, well, let's just go to the middle. Why not? Here is the long reverb that I've set. And I'll just give you an idea of that sound. Ooh, it's got some neat harmonics there. But I'm going to actually bring the drip all the way off just so you can see, well, it's pretty well off. Let's add the drip into it and see what it does all the way. Wow, that's pretty crazy right there, guys. So on the long one, I really don't use a lot of mix or a lot of dwell. So it would sound something like... Now, if I switch in some delay from the Nemesis here, you'll find that this long reverb works pretty well with it. Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. Man, you can hear the trails on that thing are just awesome. I got to admit, that's a pretty long reverb right there. And where I would actually use that is on a track for somebody. If someone needed a rhythm guitar that was kind of just laying under the bed a little bit, I would kind of use that to stack uh, a fullness underneath, give some body to the track. And as most of you know, I'm mostly a studio guitar player these days, so I do rely on this quite a bit. Now, moving on to the short reverb, 
you'll actually find that there's quite a bit of a springy sound there. So what I like to do is I actually like to roll the tone knob back, not pretty, not all the way, but just listen to the difference it'll give you as I turn this tone knob on this setting. Now right in there is actually where I like that. And on the dwell, same kind of thing. It does give you different characteristics as you change it. So let's hear what the dwell will actually do with this sound as well. Let's roll it all the way off and then bring it in. Now you can hear that dwell and I'm using in from the Neuro app, I'm using the tiny tank. And what this really does for you is if you bring the dwell all the way up, then you can turn the mix down a little bit and it gets this really cool sound. Check it out. Kind of gives you that old Chet Atkins kind of tone, so it's something where you could probably move to the to the mid tele position and do this thing. Okay, folks, so now that we've talked about my reverbs, uh, I just want you to know that I don't have the pedal set up to do the tremolos the way uh, they're supposed to yet. I haven't got into that part of the Neuro app yet. But I can tell you I do have one tremolo set up that I really love, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Now, as you can hear, the mix knob actually controls the amount of reverb that I have going, and then the dwell and the tone knob actually take care of the rate and the speed of the tremolo. All right, so now that I've switched it to the second position, I'm thinking that this is the opto trem, and it sounds like this. <laughs> choppy and cool. Now let's go to the third setting now and see what this sounds like. I think this would be kind of cool with rock but I'm still kind of on like the clean tone and I've added some reverb back in from the mix knob here so. <laughs> Folks, there you have it, The True Spring by Source Audio. What an incredible pedal. You just saw how much fun we've had with it on this little video. And I want to take this opportunity and thank my buddy Ray Maxwell for sending me this amazing pedal and for connecting me with the Source Audio family. Amazing people. I just love their pedals. They're so innovative, so cool. You have all the room you could want to... Uh, Turn this pedal virtually into whatever you want it to do. So, just amazing. And you know, folks, all you have to do is go to your local retailer, and if you can't find it there, you can go to sourceaudio.net. Tell them Johnny Highland sent you, and I know they'll take good care of you. You know I love each and every one of you so much because I could not be the artist I am today without your support, and I mean that. So, make sure you like, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Also, check me out on all of my other social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. 
On Facebook, all you have to do is go to Johnny Highland Official, and every other Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do a live Q&A on there, and I'd love to have you join us. Also, support Source Audio on their social media platforms as well. I know they'd appreciate it too. Well, folks, I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. God bless you, and happy picking. I'll see you back here again real soon. Cheers. Thank you.